Hello good people. I hope you guys are keeping warm wherever you are watching this video from. My name is Sami Azia for the first timers and my request is please remember to subscribe and also like and comment uh, your feedback that you may you might have concerning this video and about my YouTube channel so that we, we might be able to uplift each other. I like to talk about the cost of living and uh, as you all know the cost of living has really gone up across the world. So, but basically, here in America, how do we survive uh, the high prices that have go, really gone up? One of the things is that the government has, uh, the state government, they have tried to increase or negotiate with, to set a minimum wage so that at least each employer, each employer increases the wage of, uh, of their employees. So, basically, when you go into a supermarket, let's say like five items, Supermarket, say, so is with that hundred dollars, let's say, like three or four things uh, depending on your, which store you're going to buy those particular products. But, uh, what do you do? You have to survive. Let's move on to V2 at a in Cusco, uh, V2 in bulk because it's, a, it's an wholesale so that you can use it in a long period of time. For example, fuel across all petrol stations, Zimenda Ju. Iko kitu kama three dollars depending on wenda kununua wapi but kuna subsidy in the government iliweka ili ili the fuel prices goes down and there's one of the candidates pia anasema akiingia ama at the moment atapata hiyo uh, presidency fuel itakuwa inachezea one dollar let's wait and see how it will go but anyway for us how do we survive we go to Costco tunajaza tank mara moja na sasa ni story Costco and also fuel yao around two dollar, two dollar ninety, depending on also the day, because fuel in a, in a, in a changing prices zake, ukuivi almost daily. So ukienda Costco, Costco unenda unua fuel nzuri sana. Unapata line lakini almost everyone goes to to Costco to buy fuel, because uh, their prices are very good and also the quality is. Uh, other things like furniture, the things it depends you can buy from marketplace as second hand or you can go to garage sale amon is a depending on how you, on your taste so kama furnitures ukienda kununua you can buy some of the best furnitures uh, on marketplace na unapata na bei poa sana kuna ile kuna wale wanunua anga hizo vitu lakini they don't use them so would you prefer to just you can you can prefer to buy them on marketplace depending on uh, your preference um, electronics is a bit ni, ni, ni affordable by the way uh, for you to buy a TV let's say a 50 inch it cost you $400 and they, did, they do delivery and they can also do installation for you at uh, an added fee so in where to money you can buy a TV you can buy a TV you can increase sana. then you can buy a TV road tolls road tolls is an increase uh, let's say a road like there is a road called I I eighty. For you to join that road, let's move the road toll. So easy, I think it increase na zero point five cents. Barabara, let's move the pe. Na wizi ingia, ukiingia uki ingia barabara without paying the toll. Ota kujua pigwe fine. Tatu tatu mwa ticket na move the fine, which road itakuwa mzuri kwa upande wako. Another thing is about buying cars. Um, car the cost of buying a car is also going up. I think it's because um the cost of labor ukienda ju uh, basically even uh, the cost of the final product will automatically go up so hizo zimeenda zime increase cost ya gari ya kununua gari na pia cost ya kumaintain kumaintain gari that includes uh, changing of the oil um, basically tune up they call it tune up here so tune up in a change oil oil filter air filter all those things so hiyo pia imeenda ju but uh, lazima to survive and then kuna another aspect kama uko na watoto lazima utafute daycare na watoto pia waende shule so for a daycare normally ni, ni you pay a premium price for it so that uh, you can go you, can, you put your kids there then you go and hustle or get money you have to part with um, let's say 1000 to 1500 USD so that at least you are able to know that your kid is going to be taken care of na ukirudi nyumbani unaenda wachukua kijana wako ama mtoto wako na utakuwa umesaidika 
course lazima utafute nje utafute usipotoka nje hapa America hautaishi vizuri cause unaweza kupata uko uko nje kwa street unalala prices of clothes uh, it also depends on the brand that you want to buy if you want to buy if you are, if you are buying the uh, those super brands be actually be your clothes payment are due because labor payment are due the, the cost of material payment are due and most of these clothes are being imported at the moment made here uh, for example i think levi levi's uh, jeans jeans za tengenezo huko china za kuja hapa na zikuja hapa lazima watafute markup na hiyo markup inakuja na inatoshwa kwa upande wetu as consumers so your cost payment are due uh, then there is the cost of rentals rent um, the moment you enter kwa any apartment or any any house uh, rent basically na kuna setiwa depending on the state or the borough that you are in so for example the borough that we are living in the state doesn't the council doesn't control the 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 rent that we are, we are we are paying but across the board it is being it is the it is the demand of the houses that um, will, will detect ile ile percent utachajiwa at the end of the day then after staying there for like a year automatically the price might increase or might not increase or even might go down but, but basically kuna kuna kunaanga price inaanga chini so so hapa sisi tunalipanga price according to the demand na na the way you have used maji cuz ile price that tunalipa cuz hapa hivi rent ina go for around 2000 to 2500 and then to na gas and electricity your your price ina kuanga regulated na weather <laughs> so ile time kama winter winter right now we have uh, increased our consumption cuz we need we need to warm the house so the moment na increase you say jia hizo vitu mbili cuz we will have to cook we have to warm the room uh, the moment we are increasing that then uh, the usage then automatically price ya ni na juu but basically across the board prices are gas ni na juu um probably depends with the state it could be $1 or even $5 or even more but uh, this is something which is also affecting the cost of living here in america then we have medical medical is um, something which you do. if if you're not insured by the way medical in in america is expensive so the basically this is also going, going to affect the cost of living at the end of the day whatever amount your money you're going to save and uh, you, you don't have a good health yeye takuja huko chini america has the best uh, healthcare facilities kwanza mimi niko karibu na na moja inaitwa hakensack hakensack is i think number number 10 across Uh, the 50 states of america so for that for you to get a good or receive a good uh, medical attention hapo lazima uko na good money na uko na good insurance so for us we are lucky we have a good insurance which is covering the family but for those who do not have inabidi wengi kwa mfuko zao waweze kutoa pesa ndio waweze kuwa um, kutibiwa so uh, medical is one of the things that affects the cost of living Like if you are not healthy basically you won't be able to go and look for money or even hustle and happen utalala huko nje ama utalala nje then um, transport um, the transport has increased because this is a uh, this is a government all over new jersey the uh, new jersey state transport in baki standard as from tangunkuje so yeye it a big impact on us but basically i don't know other, if other states come on increase ama bado but in new york or increase iko to vile vile pia so those are some of the things that we look into when um, when we're looking in terms of uh, the cost of living even if it has gone up especially for the groceries um i would say here in america we are still able to purchase those things because the government has tried as much as much as possible to cushion the citizens uh, from that impact of not purchasing basic things so when we have subsidies now we have subsidies of course it trickles down to the citizens through reducing the prices of buying those things not to not survive vizuri sana then another thing is about um, the wages the wages of um, i think every year because this year i you know the first i think the first of january uh, in new jersey and uh, 
New York State when you increase the minimum wage. Uh, in New York now, right now, the minimum wage is around sixteen dollars per hour. Sixteen, sixteen, yeah, sixteen dollars per hour. Then in New Jersey, is fifteen dollars per hour, which is um, that's why people normally work two jobs so that at least we can cover thirty dollars per per hour, which is which is good money as well. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Let me know what you, you guys think and uh, the experiences that you have gone through, so that we can educate each other. Uh, especially those who are also in uh, different countries. Let us know what 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 your experiences have been. the cost of living going up or even going down, and what uh, what your government has really done. So thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Be blessed.